the direction in which the Kabbalah wants to lead the world. It's actually restricting the excessive consumption, only what's excessive, the extra. So that extra, says Bala Sulam, are worse than lack. So explain to me a sec what that restriction is. Suppose I like cheese. We're not talking about you stopping eating cheese from this day and on. We're saying that from this day and on, you draw the reforming light. And that light makes corrections. What kind? I don't know. What do I care? Maybe you'll stay with your cheese and all the rest won't. I don't know. I leave it to the light for it to do it. I'm not going to restrict, put limitations like all the dictators that want to lock everything, no? Why would I tell a person what to do, but to the extent to which he correctly uses the light, the light will come to him and will arrange those things for him so that he won't feel the need for it. He'll feel, okay, this is something necessary. And he'll feel about that, that that's surplus. I don't need it. I have to engage in something else than the surplus. Wherever he'll feel that it's surplus, he'll feel that the necessity is the connection with the Creator because it's the level of man. Those are the same desires. It's the same field where he'll have the connection with the Creator. That's the reforming light. It's forbidden for you to limit yourself simply so. Does Kabbalah say today that you have to take on mortifications, fasts? No, of course not, only the reforming light. You have to emphasize that, that this method specifically does not say to restrict yourself.